So what's up guys, as you guys can see in the title, we are gonna be ultrasounding a lot of females, over 100 females because our breeding season started about a couple weeks ago. But before we get to all that, I'm gonna show you guys some hatchlings, then we're gonna start ultrasounding. Well, Tina is, no, I am, because I'm the master of that stuff. We are. But real quick guys, go check out Campfire Arts because they're giving away the fourth sword today. So you guys gotta go over to Campfire Arts on their Instagram and go make sure you guys follow and comment on to have a chance to win one of those awesome Medusa swords. If you guys don't know what sword that is, let me give you a quick little glimpse. And also guys, make sure you guys go check out Superior Shipping Supply for all your reptile needs. All right guys, so let's check out a couple of clutches real quick and then we're gonna get to the ultrasounding. All right guys, so this clutch is that one of that pretty snake that, that I forgot to put a picture up last time. Well actually I didn't forget it was Josh because Josh doesn't take me serious. But um, this clutch was a cypress yellow belly to a super pastel, super red stripe, but I don't think it proved out super red stripe because there's a couple of pastel cypress in there and it should have been cypress red stripe, but yeah. But it did prove out super pastel for sure. Let me start off with a few snakes real quick. There was only four eggs and right here we have a pastel and what I believe to be yellow belly. All right, and this right here is a, a little boy. Put this aside right here. And then next we have a pastel red stripe and this right here is another boy. Damn, that's some sick odds. All right, and finally, we have a Cypress Pastel. I actually hatched a lot of these last season. And I believe this is also a boy. Man, sick old freaking male odds. And of course, the one that uh, Josh forgot to put up because he doesn't like me. Right here we have a pastel, anyway. cypress, red stripe, yellow belly. And this, I know 100% is a female. And also, it's staying over here, check this out, at the AEP Casa. Man, beautiful snake. At least I got the female that I wanted to keep, so that's pretty cool. All right guys, so I know you guys don't wanna see all of us completely just I mean, do all the females here, but we're gonna show a couple of them that we're super excited. Already have a good size follicle growth. So the one we're gonna start off first is this pastel puzzle. And as you guys can see, last time we ultrasound her on 1210 and she was at 16 millimeter follicles. Her last lockup was a 1216. So she's actually due for another one tonight, which hopefully should be the last one. But look at this girl. And like I said before, this is a partnership that I have with my buddy, Adam from Beach Bum Exotics. So we're gonna get with, we're gonna get through this one and then just a couple of other ones that are already showing some good follicle growth and go from there. Man, so many females to ultrasound. But this stuff is exciting though, I'm not gonna lie. All right, dang, today I have a cool outfit. I'm gonna call you cool outfit girl. I'm just comfortable. <laughs> dude, I know you're burning up in here, dude. It's hot it's as hot. heck in here, I'm not a lie. All right, so we're gonna get her ready. Okay. All right. Hold it right there. And guys, for you guys that want to know where I got this ultrasound, I got this ultrasound from Breeder Circle. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit up Ricardo. I'm going to put his information on in the description down below. Or just look up Breeder Circle and then um, you guys could DM them. But I've had this ultrasound for two years. Not only is it, I mean, has it worked like magic for me just because I'm a noob, but it definitely has kept me from burning out some males. And, have, you know, it's we had, what, 57 clutches total this last season? Yes. Stay right there, little pastel puzzle. Pass that puzzle, chill. We try to look for the lower end section of her. And, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that, wow. Adam, we're gonna have our first, well actually that's gonna be like our fifth clutch together. Look at that. So what I do right here is I step on the little thingy majiggy. There's the thingy it. majiggy right there. Okay, hold this right here. And then what I'll do is I'll measure this. So I go to measure, go for the furthest angle, set. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, 28 millimeter follicles from 16 in one month. So we're definitely gonna get one more lock in there. And this girl is done for the season, man. Well, Adam, we finally hit the, what is it gonna be? The double head puzzle sunsets. How insane is that gonna be? I hope I get the same odds that I did with the Desert Ghost, which was two males and five females. That would be gold, but man, that is so awesome. First one's a, a banger. All right, and this next one right here is an Inchy Head Sunset. She was also bred to the Sunset male, and last month she was at 12.5 millimeter follicles, and they've had a lock on January 8th, so hopefully she has, you know, developed, you know, bigger follicles, so we'll see right now. All right, and here is the next female. 
And this female right here came from Chase Baker. So hopefully we have another one that has some pretty good sized follicles. Usually turtle's the one that's helping me holding the snake in place, but. But I'm filming today. Yeah, we need another filmer. We're just trying to get a quick little look, so. Like I said, just go over here. Definitely some follicle growth right there. Is it picking it up? Yep. Let me get a nice little freeze frame right there. Perfect. Hold up. Get the rest of this lubrication. All right. And right here we have, dang, 26.6 millimeter follicles. That's both of them that's jumped up over 10 millimeters in one month. That is insane, man. Day inchy sunsets. Here we come. That is two so far that have grown. Compl I mean, how would how would you say it? Use some, use some words, girl. Um, <laughs> they just shot up. Yeah, dramatically shot up like at least ten millimeter yeah. follicles. Knuckles, big homie. Damn. But yeah, sorry. Right. Let's move to the next couple ones. Then we're just gonna start going really quick with all this. But yeah, so far it's a great start. Here's another one that I'm really excited about. Right here we have a yellow belly dreamsicle, and man, she is hopefully gonna lay for us. We've been breeding her to an asphalt, a black pastel. We've been breeding her to a black pastel asphalt head lavender. And like I told you guys, we want to hit a black pastel freeway lavender. That's going to be 100% head pipe. Tina, you're not going to sound surprised this time? Like, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And guys, I've used the same amount of little squirt that I used the first time. So let's see. You can definitely see something. Up right there. Hopefully she grew a little bit. I mean, we'll see. She was at 10 millimeters. Turtle, keep an eye on this little girl, please. I can see her. She's in my sight. And no, she's still the same. So maybe by her next lock, she'll grow a little bit more. But I'm really excited and I hope she goes this season, man. Because I don't think that's been done before. And I think Billy or Justin, of course, is going to hit this. So if I could beat them to it, that would be insane. So this next one that we're going to go through right here is we're actually waiting for her to lay. As you can see her already nesting. I'm not going to ultra set her, but right here we have a pastel cypress and she was bred to the sunset. So again, we're just looking for one cypress or two cypress head sunsets and man, that'll be insane. Almost as insane as this face. Here's another cool one. Right here we have a bamboo clown and this right here was bred, well, has been bred into a red stripe, spot nose, yellow belly, clowns, yeah. Oh, come on girl, please. Please give me some love. Oh, off to the freezer you go. I'm just playing, <laughs> just joking. Just joking. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, there they are. Yep, she's still the same. All right, this next one right here is gonna be kind of hard to ultrasound. She just, you know, she just went crazy on this. But right here we have a double head hypo puzzle. And right here we have a turtle head clown. And um, <laughs> yeah, but she was bred to a hypo puzzle. So hopefully we had a couple more hypo puzzles because you know, you can't have enough uh, hypo puzzle females, right? Never. Right. All right, girl, stay right there. Don't move. You just wanna see if you have babies. Yo, oh my goodness, yes. Look at all those little eggies. They might just trace that eggies. Wow, oh, there yeah. goes my man card. Yeah. Let's get a freeze frame right. There, eggies. boom. <laughs> eggies. And she was at 12 millimeter follicles and 18.5. Dang. Oh man, I don't even have muscle no more. But that was crazy, man, that's good. All right, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing better than bad, so. All right, so now the turtle and I, we're gonna go through the whole collection now. Like I said, I know you guys don't wanna see none of that stuff. So maybe what I could do is just talk a quick little snake talk, a little update on just what's going on over here and what's to come, and then I'll continue all ultrasounding. What do you think, turtle? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, knuckles again, girl? Nah. Dang. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of females that we're gonna be, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of females that we're gonna be ultrasounding. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what females they are and what they've been pairing up to so you guys kinda get an idea of what we're expecting this season. And we'll definitely keep you guys updated on all the pairings and on the growth of these females as, you know, we go on weekly, daily, Wait. monthly. So a lot of these females already started breeding. If you don't see anything that written down right here, it's because we obviously didn't get no lock or they have no follicle growth, but we have had a male in there. Um, but right here we have a super orange dream, pied, 50% head exantic. Then we have this pastel yellow belly inchy Gen X pied. Look at this beauty right here, man. She was bred to our Cypress head pied. And then, oh, you guys already saw the yellow belly dreamsicle. Oh, here's a good one. We have a leopard lesser yellow belly head pied. She's been bred into our Mandarin head pied. We have this special head pied bred to a Cypress head pied. This is a 
I am reaching over there guys, so if I get a horrible view, it's because I'm very short. These two girls I'm really excited about, the two sisters. We already had a clutch from this one last year, but she's already put on some good weight. And she's showing some good signs. But right here we have a Cypress Mojave Head Pied, proven female. And another GHI Mojave Head Pied. And we've been breeding her to a Leopard Clown Pied. So hopefully we get some visual GHI Pied Head Clowns. That would be insane. And we have this Cypress Mojave. Oh man, it's pretty funny. We actually were supposed to record this right here, but we got ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but right here is actually, these two are our first holdbacks from when we started breeding ball pythons over here at AEP. And this girl right here was at 12 millimeter follicles and the Cypress Mojave. And look at her, man. She's not even two years old. She's like a year and a half. But man, she went from 12 millimeters and then when we had checked it we didn't write it down it looked to be like she was around 20 but we're gonna redo it again and she lost last lock was on the first of the eighth and she's been breeding to the magma so man there'll be some crazy red stripe cypress mojave head clown stuff that'll be insane what do you think turtle super insane it's not the first of the eighth it's january 8th i know just, i kind of like i know I messed up. <laughs> that's why i had to like record you and correct you because they're gonna make fun of me just remember i got you <laughs> good looking up big homie and some other females we're breeding right here is the leopard head clown oh snap a leopard head clown bull wrapper and she's been pairing up to the mandarin head clown definitely want to hit some mandarin clown babies man orange dream clown bred to a batman oh she's going into shed but she's actually showing some good signs and then we have this oh man this girl right here she's gonna go she was right here we have a super pastel lesser leopard clown and she was bred to a hypo black pastel clown so everything's gonna be pastel but hopefully we get some black pastel stuff in there too so get some pewter clowns what do you think, Turtle? I agree. I love clowns. Another Mandarin head clown that's been breeding to this beautiful lesser clown. She always gives me a good size clutch. But yeah, that's a few females over here that are breeding over here at the AEP Casa. But man, we're just trying to get here on board of things again because it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy couple of weeks, couple of months, and we're trying to get back a track of things. But we're gonna be on it, guys. I've been putting the vlogs up. It just haven't been as consistent as, you know, usual because I blame the turtle over here. But guys, I know I said this last time before, but guys, please comment down below. And let us know what you guys want us to vlog about. If you guys want us to... <sighs> Let us know what you guys want to, you know, us to vlog about. If you guys want to see more snakes, you want to talk the business side. I mean, the you guys razor. let me know. I haven't put the razor vlog in. <laughs> so you guys, on Saturday, I'm just going to throw it up there. We just, you know, we took out the razor that day and Josh did an awesome edit. It's a short little video. It was just like me, Jesse, and our kids. And we went out and we took the razor and, you know, we went out. But uh, speaking of razors, um, Turtle got one for her birthday. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love it. I didn't think that I was gonna enjoy it as much by myself because normally it drives them, but... So I'll go show you guys real quick, but check out this quick... Actually, I'll show you guys first, then I'll show you a quick little clip of the turtle. So right here we have mine. We have the big dog razor right here. Then we have the kids little razor. Man, they've been boning out like crazy. And then we have the turtle wildcat. And like I said, guys, I'll show you guys a quick little glimpse of the girl getting down. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. As always, man, you guys know I appreciate all of the support. And until next time, deuce.